Hi, my name is Mark Pinto, and I want to talk to you today about rapid manifestation. I had a huge aha moment today, and it's, it's, it's like, I have to share it. It's, it's amazing, actually. When you have these things, you don't even understand how you didn't know it the whole time. But anyway, uh, I see it as an equation. Rapid manifestation would be, would, rapid manifestation would equal allowing or detachment plus trusting or faith. So let me just break that down to you a little bit. Trusting would be you trust your desire. So the example that I came up with or that came to me was let's say you're delivering a pizza. So let's say you have a desire of a pizza. Now you put out your intention and you put out this intention by calling the pizza delivery place and putting in your order that's your intention now rapid manifestation equals detachment plus trusting so after you put in your pizza order you can do one of two things you can sit there and wait on it and you know you're probably thinking how hungry you are and how you don't have the pizza and you really want it and it's gonna feel like it takes forever even if it only takes 20, 30 minutes but on the other hand if you detach from that pizza and let's say you were entertaining friends and you go back to ent entertaining your friends an hour can pass and you won't even realize the pizza's not even there yet and let's say an hour and 15 minutes later the pizza comes and you'll be like oh that wasn't that bad but that was pretty quick or you'll be like oh I can't even believe an hour and 15 minutes has passed well this is I got this from Anthony Robbins Anthony Robbins actually talks about how time is emotional how a lot of times when we think something takes a long time, it's not really that it took a long time. It's because of our emotional state during the time that we waited. So a lot of things that we seem that it takes forever, like you can be waiting in a grocery store line and you can be there for 15 minutes and you'll be like, oh my God, this is taking forever. But at the same time, there can be somebody on the same line that's talking to a friend that they haven't spoken to in years and that line will go back so go so quickly because they're so engrossed in talking to their friend. They're in the moment and they're enjoying themselves. So that's the um, first part of allowing or detaching. And the second part is plus trusting. So now the pizza, you can allow and you can detach because you trust it's coming. You've ordered pizzas before. You know it's coming. And you don't have any reason to fret about it. You know it's coming. There's no question in your mind. The pizza's coming. The only way it can not come is if you gave them a wrong address or you don't answer the door when they come or something happens. But you know most likely it's coming and you don't worry about it. So you allowed it, you detached, and you trusted. And now it has, no matter if it came in 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour, if you detached and you trusted, it's going to feel like rapid manifestation. It doesn't have it, it barely has anything to do with the actual time it took. It has more to do with your emotional state during that time. So aka all this boils down to is enjoy the journey. Really is just stay in the moment. Um try and be as clear and and uh centered as possible so that you can hear the inspiration of whatever you need to do when it's time. Take it back to the pizza example. If you're if you you don't have to be calm, but you should be clear-minded, you know, and centered. If you're clear-minded and centered, you might realize that, oh, I gave them the wrong address. Let me call them back. Or, you know what? This is taking a little bit longer than I thought. Let me call them. And they'll say, oh, well, you know, this guy couldn't find you, and we didn't know have your number. You'll get the inspiration and intuitive messages. Or even maybe he might be at the door knocking, but you're so engrossed. Maybe you're in an argument with somebody or something, or your just mind is somewhere else. You're not centered. You're not clear. You don't even hear him knocking. You miss the opportunity. So you want to stay centered, and you want to stay calm and clear, doing your desire, the, the, the desire you want to manifest, so that when an opportunity comes about that you need to take action, you'll know what action you need to take. Other than that, just enjoy the journey. Thank you. I hope this helps. It's helped me a lot.